Hey everybody, so I'm back to do another BB cream review. It's actually another Physicians Formula one, which I reviewed a couple weeks ago. I got two of them in a recent iHerb haul and I wanted to try them both out. So what I'm going to be reviewing today is the Physician, Physicians Formula Organic Wear BB Cream All-in-One Beauty Balm Cream. So that's what this one looks like. The one I reviewed last week is this one here, the Insta Ready, and I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't have high hopes, but um, this one, I don't know, it, it was really awesome and I've been using it a lot. So I'm going to review the organic one and see how it compares. I'm having some lighting issues, so if you see flickering, my light keeps going on and off. That's what's going on. But I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit, a little bit about it. So first of all, it only comes in two colors, just like the Insta Ready, which is kind of disappointing if you have a darker skin tone. There's light and light medium. I got the light medium. It does have SPF 20 in it. It says 100% natural origin, 70% organic, and some of the features hydrates, smooths, protects, nourishes, conceals, repairs, evens out, preps, and primes, which I think, again, is very similar to the Insta Ready. The Insta Ready. It also says Skin Nourishing Coconut Cocktail, so that's interesting. I'm curious if it has a scent. Just looking on the website here, it retails for $18.49, and it says Revolutionary Formula combines the benefits of a BB cream with a skin nourishing natural and organic ingredients with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to help keep the skin looking and feeling healthy, hydrated, bright, and smooth. It is also hypoallergenic, dermatologist approved, and gluten free. All right, so I'm just going to apply it to my face, show you guys how it applies, and then I will check in throughout the day like I did before to show you how it wears throughout the day. It comes in a squeeze tube like this. Let's see what it looks like. Again, it's just like the Insta Ready. It's a very similar formula. It holds its shape. It looks quite a thicker consistency. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it. That darn light. I think I need new lights. This one keeps going off and on and flickering. Oh, and it just went out. So I have light on one side. I'll fix that in a second one. This is not on my face. Great timing. Oh yeah, you can smell coconut. I kind of like that. Not like a super sweet coconut, just like a, a very um, real coconut scent. So it feels, um, it does feel thicker going on, just like the Insta Ready. It's very smooth in consistency, however. It just kind of melts into the skin, which I really, really like. It glides on really nicely. Just gonna finish the bottom half of my face here and then try and get this light back on so you can actually see what's going on. All right, hopefully that stays on for a little bit. So I'm done from here down. And first impressions, it is a much more sheer um, formula. It's not covering like the Insta Ready did. I can still see, oh, this darn light, guys. I can still see a lot of the redness coming through, a lot of blemishes, darkness. So, and I use the same amount. I don't know, I'm gonna continue and do the rest of my face. All right, so this is one light layer on my face. Color-wise, it's not a bad match. I have been self-tanning, so I am darker down here, and my face was lighter, so it's evened me out. Um, right off the bat, it's definitely more of a like oilier consistency. I can just tell that it's not drying down the way the Insta Ready did, or a lot of my BB creams did, so that makes me a bit nervous because I do tend to get oils throughout the day and I just don't want this to get too shiny. I will be setting it with setting powder like I always do, but I just noticed that there's quite a lot of glow happening and it doesn't have very good coverage. So if you have really nice skin or you're not looking for a lot of coverage, this might be a great option, whereas the Insta, Insta Ready, I keep saying it wrong, um, was a lot of coverage if you're looking for something like that. So I'm gonna see how this layers on top of itself. I am going to take a bit more and just add it and see if um, it blends in well or if it starts to get weird. Some of them do that if you put more on top. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it in areas where I'm still red or I have blemishes. Let's see how that works. I'm trying not to judge this too much off the bat. I don't know if it's the coconut oil or what, but I, I kind of feel like I'm just putting coconut oil on my face. It just feels a little greasy for my liking. I hope it doesn't break me out. Um, I don't know, it's not my favorite. It could change, I could have a different opinion later on, but so far this is what it looks like. It did layer okay, although it didn't give me a whole lot of extra coverage, so I don't know that that was really necessary. Um, but I'm gonna leave it at this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then show you what it looks like. All right, so here's what it looks like with the rest of my makeup on. Everything went on really nicely. Honestly, once I used the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting powder that I always use to set. It did, the um, shine came down quite a bit, although I'm still curious to see how it holds up throughout the day. It's currently 
9.50 a.m. and I will check in later to show you how it's doing. All right, so it's currently 2.59, so it's been, what, just over four hours, and this is what it's looking like. I did do a bit of a workout, so I think that probably added a little bit of shine, but honestly, it is getting quite, I was looking in my mirror down here. There's a lot of glow happening, more glow than I like in this area here, my forehead, my chin, so I am going to add just a bit more of my NARS powder just so I can get through the rest of the day. But the rest of it, I'm just looking here at the coverage. Nothing is broken up so far. I mean, it's only been four hours. Everything still looks pretty good. It has sunk in a little bit around my nose. It doesn't look very pretty. Um, but everywhere else it appears to be okay. Definitely, I mean, I don't think it's just the workout. It started to get um, this kind of shiny glow to it before that. So I'm going to continue wearing it for the rest of the day. I'm headed out to a swim club practice for my kids, and I'll see you tonight before I go to bed. All right, so it's currently 7.29 p.m. I'm not going to bed yet, but I'm about to put the kids to bed, and I want to wash my face. So it's been, what, close to nine hours, I think. Sorry, the light is flickering in here. But this is what the BB cream looks like now. Um, the powder definitely did help, although I can still see shine happening here. It's worn off my nose a bit, but again, I have a baby that scratches my face. That's probably the reason there, but I'm not as oily as I was before, so it's not like it got quite as oily, so I don't know if that was working out or the powder. My final thoughts, it's a nice BB cream, but there's definitely more that I like better. Specifically, the other physician's formula is my preference, but if you like a lighter coverage, like a more sheer to medium coverage, you might like this. This is organic, so that's gonna be a bonus for some people. If you have drier skin, I think you'll like this one better than the Insta Ready. Um, I mean, my blush and bronzer is still on, and for nine hours, I think it did pretty good, especially for a BB cream, but it's just not my favorite. So if you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.